So hey hi hello welcome all to my channel so a lot of people have been asking what my game loop setting is and how i am getting 120 fps so to answer your question first thing i have a high spec i have mentioned my spec in my description please do check it out but i'll also sell, tell you few suggestions in settings uh, what you can keep so let's uh, right away go into my game loop settings i'll show you all my game loop settings first of all let me open the game loop let game loop open Yep, game loop has opened. So as you can already see, I have already installed Apex Legends uh, mobile in my uh, game loop. So this should also appear in your settings. Uh, so if you have not installed it, uh, just install it first of all. So let me just uh, show you my settings one by one. So those who are asking me in the live uh, comments, uh, what is my uh, emulator settings? What is my in-game settings? What is my sensitivity and everything? I'll show everything in this video so that you can refer to this video on what I'm using when you're uh, watching my gameplay. So here you can see this three dots, click here, click on the settings first of all. So yep, on the basics it is going to be, I will just remove the auto run. This is almost on the default. Uh, on below you can see the language is in English and the country is in India. This is the first set of settings. Next on the engine, I personally have a better graphics card. So I have kept it on G open GL plus. But if you have a, you know, mediocre graphics card with a better uh, processor maybe, try checking with the DirectX Plus but yeah this is my settings so open GL Plus and first four settings I have switched it on do not turn on vertical sync because then it won't cross 60 fps for you so always have these four settings on open GL Plus and in anti-aliasing memory processor resolution so this is one more thing so in anti-aliasing I have kept ultra but for lower end PCs just reduce this value as much as possible so the memory my particular RAM is of 16 GB. So what you guys can do, you can keep it uh, to half of whatever RAM you have. So for example, if I have, if you have 4 GB RAM, just keep it at 2. So I have uh, 16 GB RAM. So I have kept it at, uh, uh, this is not showing to me properly. Yeah, here you can see, uh, I have like 16 GB of RAM. So I have not chosen, this is the maximum I could choose. So 8 GB. So I have chosen but for you if you have 4 GB RAM choose 2 if you have 8 GB RAM choose 4 and vice versa so do, do those things and next processor so this also I have kept all at maximum so for you probably choose uh, 2 or 4 for better uh, performance or FPS so this is my setting processor at 8 resolution is 1080p and one more important thing is the screen DPI guys this screen DPI if this is of a different number or a wrong number it might cause you issues with the controls in your gameplay it might cause issues with your mouse being stuck this might be one of the reason for all of those because when i fixed my screen dpi my healing button started working properly so make sure this number is proper so what i would suggest is if you are having the game's uh, resolution i will go into the game tab later but if you have the game resolution at 1080p have this particular screen dpi at 240 and if you have your game resolution at 2k have this at 480 so this is my suggestion and this both things this should be your default uh, speaker and everything audio channel wave out this should be default so the next settings would be model so in model it is suggested to keep common model asus rog2 for a better performance this is what i have kept uh, in game so this is after you install apex this particular window will appear before installation of apex this won't appear please do note so once you have installed apex legends this particular window in game it is going to show up the apex in apex it is always suggested for low end pcs to go with the lower value which is 720p for me it is a better spec so once again i have kept it at the maximum which is 2k so here is where i mentioned the dpi settings so if you have this at 1080p keep the dpi at 240 if you have 2k if you have set it at 2k here keep it at 480 this will cause lesser troubles in your controls later on and also graphic settings it is better to choose automatic for many of you because it might choose what is actually possible to provide for your pc i have kept it at balance and the fps everyone wants a higher fps so keep it at 120 if you don't keep it at 120 here in game you won't be able to switch to the 120 uh, fps option so that is one thing so into the account it is just my account and the account region is india these are the game loop settings like game loop settings is done kadam so i'll go to the uh, next set of settings which is in game settings let me right away open the game for you guys let's open the game 
and good news is now that uh, game loop has officially you know adapted this game it has not officially you know having all this controls and everything in the game but it has adapted the game so it will let you install the game basically and there won't be any emulator detected pop up uh, this time for you guys so you guys can enjoy the game actually a little bit better now so let us open the game now i don't think i need to press on the back button because it has officially started allowing you guys inside and it will just tell you that you are on emulator inside the game and not outside the game so let us right away go into uh, the game uh, let me log in let uh, let me go into the game and i'll show you guys my sensitivity graphic settings key mapping and everything in the same video so that you guys can check this one video for everything okay Okay, let us just claim this skin, close, close, let me go on a full screen, let me go here, there is a new mode, oh, okay, okay, let me go into firing range, confirm, play, so here you can see that the emulator uh, thing will appear, so this is not an issue. So let's go into firing range let me just go down and i'll just show you all my settings other settings like game uh, in game settings and as well as my key mapping i'll show you guys everything whatever i have done so let me just uh, slide below yep so you as you can see for my settings i kept almost everything at the maximum and it is almost giving me like 120 100 to 120 fps most of the time guys like yeah now it went to 70 but sometimes yeah if i can keep my graphics on smooth it will definitely uh, you know be even more but i just want a better quality of content so i just kept it all at high so yes now coming to the in-game settings whatever i have kept so in basic uh, so in basic you can see auto firing is off left fire button is on one tap ads off so this is the setting for people who are asking when i click on uh, right click it is not adsing bro only when i click on left click it is shooting automatically by adsing so for those people you have to turn this particular setting third setting off so that once you click on right click only it will go into your ads that is there tap to fire tap to fire ads mode is on hold it is a preference if you tap right click for you can have it on tap or on or hold it's a preference so i just prefer to hold my right click while aiming so that is there so other than this everything is on default more options everything is on default guys i have not changed anything else so next coming to the gameplay in gameplay i have kept uh, you know here also i have kept everything on default but uh, only one thing i might have changed let me just check whether uh, yeah it is on items so on items i have switched everything on smart health recommendation uh, toggle to use health item continuously use health item everything on so this will help you in game so basically to keep healing on a shield cell or uh, you know on the um, uh, syringes that will help you guys so next go to pickup so in pickup uh, i have kept switching item mode to hold few people might have it on tap for me sometimes uh, it just swaps my gun right away so i just kept it on hold to swap any gun or shield or anything like that so that is there and short interval of uh, swap uh, you know hold only so other than that auto pick up on auto pick up interval shot and everything so here i have kept my shield battery to four because you know you tend to use a lot of shield batteries also so i have kept shield battery at four and if i need ultimate accelerant i might pick it up myself so for that i just kept my ultimate accelerant at zero and that is there and uh, there won't be any grenades which is on pickup also in ammo there might be le you know more ammo in your uh, shotgun weapon so so just make sure that uh, you reduce the amount of shotgun ammo that you have because you won't be using 48 ammo and all in a game so you can always pick up shotgun ammo also so in ordnance uh, i have kept like one frag grenade one thermite and one oxa so this is this setting and in ping and battlefield info it is all uh, default uh, settings for me yep i have kept everything at default and on controls you don't i mean you can't basically change anything uh, here uh, in an emulator so just keep this on default in controls it's all default next coming to the sensitivity so here is where my particular sensitivity i play apex legends pc on 800 dpi and 1.5 in-game settings which is close to edpi of 1200 so for that particular setting what i have done 
I have kept my overall sensitivity to 20, vertical sensitivity to 40, almost matching that particular thing. But also make sure sensitivity acceleration mode is on fixed so that when you move your mouse, it is always consistent. It won't keep changing according to the speed that you turn your mouse. That is important. So this is the sensitivity setting. And when you go down for each and every scope, it is your preference. I just, I guess I reduce this particular thing to 76%, 50, 43, 34. You can pause the video and check all these settings guys. And uh, other than this free, free camera focus, this is when you press the alt button and turn your uh, camera. This is what I have kept, 90% it is. So yep, all this and on graphics settings. Now on graphics, it is always suggested for low end PCs to go with smooth and 120 FPS. Uh, we, uh, you can see if I keep smooth and if I give confirm and if I go here, you can see, uh, you know, the graphics quality has uh, considerably reduced and my FPS is almost consistent on 120. So you can always play this at 120 FPS, uh, you know, on smooth uh, if your content quality can be like this. But yeah, I decided that my content quality has to look a bit better. So my particular setting is on Ultra HD. So you don't have to go with Ultra HD. My setting is on Ultra HD and 120 FPS and adaptive smoothening is off, display FPS is on. Uh, so all the FOV, we have to keep it at maximum. This setting has to be changed on maximum. So I kept it in realistic and uh, all the uh, effects on on and i have just confirmed it okay so basically basic settings this one gameplay all the other settings items on this pick up ping everything done graphic quality is done controller language privacy social i didn't touch anything guys that's all so once you are done uh, making all the changes whatever i have showed in these settings all you have to do is click on sync to cloud and choose whatever option that you need in a slot like you can save it on slot 1 slot 2 or slot 3 it depends on you you can save it on slot 1 now like let us save on the slot so every time that you are going to give slot 1 it is give you it is going to give you slot 1 settings so you are going to use slot 2 settings then it might go to some other older settings if you click on slot 3 all the settings might change and it might have the older settings so i, I personally use my slot 2 and uh, all the other settings are available in slot 2 so let me just keep it that way so let us once uh, cross check if all our settings are like uh, how we expected yep everything is like uh, normal yep yep all graphic settings and everything but yes just to confirm we can always uh, just reset it to the you know cloud cloud settings here so now we have this uh, this is my settings so other than this, uh, many people were asking, I guess this, this did not reflect uh, the, uh, you know, quality. Let us just leave the match, just come back inside again the firing range. Huh? So that, uh, that uh, graphic quality gets updated. Sometimes the graphic quality will go, once you go out and come back only, this particular graphic qualities might get uh, impacted into the uh, game. So once again, let me just go inside, then this uh, graphics quality will get impacted basically on your next, next game. So any graphic changes will get impacted on your next game. But to reduce, it will accept. To increase, it won't accept. So when you are going to reduce your graphics, you can do it mid-game. But if you are going to increase your graphics, you have to restart your uh, game. It's not basically restart the game, like restart your uh, lobby alone. That is what you need. So yep, here we go. This is the graphics that we have. Now the next thing that uh, the last thing which you ask is the key mapping settings that you guys wanted to see. So I'll just press F11 is the key. And on the top, okay, not this. On the top, you can see this particular uh, key mapping button here. If you don't see this key mapping button, you can see this tool set inside that there will be key mapping. So press Control to unlock your mouse or for few people it will be the console key i'll press type that key below so press that key go into the key mapping so in the key mapping here in keyboard i have chosen br not this chinese one so choose this br and here i have chosen not to display that key mapping here so this i have unchecked in mouse sensitivity my particular mouse sensitivity i have kept it at 75 percent this is the uh, setting number one that i have kept and also one uh, where there are very few changes that i have done so this particular heel button on mouse button one is one change that i have done so probably i just wanted to change this uh, six also the smart heel button will be available here so i wanted to change this particular button also to 
let's say I'll just create a key here and press mouse button two for smart heal and here uh, F and X I have interchanged F1 and T I have interchanged these are these are my uh, settings that I have uh, interchanged guys that's all click on save so once again I press F11 key mapping you guys can see whatever key mapping I have used nothing else uh, you know special so all normal so here BR and uh, all the other things checked here in display key mapping everything save so after doing everything it is always better to restart your game and do not press alt tab mid game guys uh, because that is also causing some control issues so always once you open this game stay on the game play the game it will everything will work as expected so that is what uh, i would suggest so these are every settings i have showed you game loop settings i have shown you uh, the uh, in-game settings graphic settings sensitivity key mapping and everything so use this one video for whatever settings that i am using but keep reducing the values if your pc specifications are low that is the one day advice that i could give so we have uh, that's it for this video so if it is helpful please do like this video and if you want to see more of apex legends mobile uh, please do follow our channel subscribe the channel and uh, yes guys until next time i'll see you in the next video Enjoy the gamer. Bye bye bye. Peace.